Hi, I'm Joanna Griggs. I'm Graham Ross. G'day, I'm Jason Hodges. And I'm Tara Dennis. I'm Rob Palmer, and we are some of the team of Better Homes and Gardens. It is a little frightening to think that almost 60% of people die without having a will. Then what happens to your money, your assets and anything else that you leave behind? Well, your loved ones who are grieving and missing you like crazy are left to enter a minefield of legal, emotional and often very difficult decisions on your behalf. It can all be so much easier if you just take the time out and get a will. No matter what your age or how old you are, it's a much simpler process than you can imagine. The first time might take you half an hour, even less if you do it online. And then, every time after that, when you have a major event happening in your life, whether it's buying a motorbike, a car, an apartment, a house, getting married or even having kids, then take another 10 minutes out of your day to update it. That very small investment of your time can change weeks, months, in some cases years of heartache and pain for your whole family and for the loved ones who are left behind. So in memory of Ben, whose life was cut tragically short, way too young, please remember this. When, when there's, there's a will, a will it's, it's your way. way.